Hey guys, what's up? Greetings from it's the same chilly morning in Bannerfield. I took my gloves off for this one, so that can only mean one thing. We're working on the draw, and specifically, working on making our wrists nice and strong. I get asked all the time what I do to help make my wrist strong, help get my forearms to the strength that they need to be, and it's really easy. I have a stick and I have a ball and I have a couple exercises that I do every single day to help me get strong. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna show you three of them right now. So the first one that I do with all the girls that I give lessons to is I call them toe taps. So you're gonna put your right, your, we're gonna go both hands. You're gonna start with your dominant hand at the very bottom of your stick. Whenever we're doing this, we wanna make sure our wrist goes all the way down and all the way up. We never want to lock our wrists. If we lock our wrists, then it's our arm getting the workout, not our wrists. So there's really no point in doing it. So for toe taps, you're going to touch down right, touch down or touch down right, touch down left, touch down right, touch down left. I like to do these about 10 to 15 each side. If you need to slow up a little bit, you can. Once you do 10 right, 10 or 10 each side right hand, you're gonna go the same thing left. You wanna make sure that you do everything with your right and left hand because depending on whether you push or pull, different wrists and different hands are at the bottom of each stick. So those are toe taps. Once I do 15 rounds right and left, I move on to um, my half moons. So for my half moons, Basically, you're gonna start with your dominant hand at the bottom. You're gonna to toss the ball up. Your stick is gonna end up with the net facing the ground. And for righties, you're gonna make a backward C. So you're gonna catch the ball underneath, start, over, start upside down, catch the ball underneath. For lefties, you're gonna make a normal C. So you're here, here. Start the net down, scoop underneath. You'll understand once I start to do it. So you're gonna to toss the ball up, scoop, catch. Scoop, catch. So that toss was a little high. You wanna kinda of keep it right at eye level. Really work on securing that ball. I only, if I'm in my right hand, I wanna make sure that I catch the ball directly in front of me. I don't wanna swing through like this. This is all about your wrist control. Catch, right into it. Lefty can be a little tricky, my hands are numb. Scoop through. It's all about having the power, whoopsie. All about having the power to stop right in front of your body and corral it. So I like to do about 10 or 15 of these half moons. The last one really doesn't have a name. Um, if you have some name suggestions, please comment below. But it's very detailed oriented and it's slow. So I want this to be a slow exercise. We'll go to the side to help you out. So you're gonna stick it with your bottom hand as your dominant hand. You're gonna toss the ball up, catch. Once you catch, you're gonna pause, flex down, reset, pause. So toss it up, catch, pause, flex down. Whoopsie, can't feel my fingers. Toss it up, catch, flex down, reset. What I want you guys to avoid is tossing it up, catching, flexing down, tossing up, catching, flexing down. <sighs> that doesn't really work your wrist at all. That's just using the momentum to carry it down, bring it back up. This one, I don't like to go slow either, but for this one, slower is better. So toss it up, catch, flex down, reset. Same thing, right and left-handed. I like to do about 10 of those each hand. Now. Those three workouts, if you did them all the time, your wrists would be so much stronger. Ways to get them even stronger, add a weighted stick. So for me, what I used to do, cut off the butt of one of my old sticks, fill it with sand, glue my butt back on, and then I had a weighted stick. So I'd go one round with my weighted stick of these three exercises, one round without. Make sure you try it just with a normal stick first, and then if it gets too easy, move on over to a weighted stick. I'm sure dad would love to go to Home Depot and buy some sand, if he's anything like mine. So those are the three exercises I use. Make sure you try them out today.
Hold on, let me get my other sick. <laughs>